What is up everybody, this is All Things Entertaining here, bringing you the brand new video, and today we have Scott Page's third place UDS Tulsa deck profile. And we're just going to jump right into the deck list. It's quite expensive, as you can see, he's playing Triple Extravagance and two Lightning Storm in his main deck, and uh, IP Master Marine is also pretty expensive. But we're just going to jump right into the deck. So we got two so Ultimate Conductor Tyreno, three True King <laughs> Agamizen, uh the Vanisher, I'm just going to call it the Vanisher, uh, and... Uh, one Lithosagem, two Dogron, one Pancratops, one Giant Rex, three Miscellaneous Saurus, three over, uh, Soul Eating Over After, three Baby Saurus, one Pterodon, and one Jirac Alio. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, just your standard True King stuff. He's not playing the Water one because I think the Water one is actually not that great. Um, also, you're playing, you have more access to Fire types and Earth types than you are playing uh, Water anyway. So. It makes sense you're playing true uh, you're playing vanisher and tra and lithosagem um as because they're the easiest ones to summon so it makes perfect sense um he's not playing any hand traps in the main deck he is playing the pancreatops but pancreatops is just a generically good card anyway and you might as well play it in dinosaurs um so there's always that so the next up we got the spells we have two lightning storm two mind control three fossil dig <coughs> three pot of extravagance one terraforming one set rotation one di dragonic diagram three lost world and one missing mine the missing mine set rotation is just becoming more and more popular as the time as, as time goes on um i would expect most decks if not all decks in some way shape or form will be playing mystic mine in some capacity either in the main deck or side deck with set rotation in um in the back just playing around uh but it is just uh, it, it is a good tech i don't like mystic mine personally i think it's kind of a degenerate a degenerate card in general i think Kaiser, it's a Kaiser Coliseum like like effects like this are just unhealthy for the game inherently. But it, it's if 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 Konami is going to keep it at three, you might as well play it at three. You know what I mean? But you know, Dragonic Diagram, you know your best searcher card in the game is just the prone. It's just prone to Ghost Ogre and so many other hand traps though. But it worked out for him. He got third place. So why am I even really criticizing it here? Um, <clears throat> Fossil Dig, just your generally good Rota card. Um, Thought, kind of expect at some point this card could very well just be busted and just be limited at some point. It's it, Rota like effects like these generally aren't that healthy for the game long term. So I mean, we see stuff like terraforming and again reinforcement of the army at one. So uh, fossil dig is definitely um, one of those key contender cards that could very well see its way on the ban list at some point. Um, not going to say that it's happening, but I I generally think that this card could very well be. Um, be limited status at some point extravagance you know it's it's the best draw card in the game right now um everyone's playing it uh basically playing pot of greed for no for no reason is pretty good you don't want to play pot of desires in this tech probably because you have, have a lot of one ofs and you have a lot of other cards that you want to keep in your deck um and you rather draw or search later so that makes perfect sense mind control is actually interesting because uh, mind control was somewhat falling out of favor this format but it it it, it it's still a very strong card, even if a Super Poly is a little bit better because it's faster and your opponent can't really respond to it. This card still can bait negates and still be pretty strong, um, as well as if you're lucky, just being able to take one of your opponent's monsters and using them for for like summoning or exceed summoning or whatever you want to do with it. It's pretty good. Um, also for the th for the three traps. He's playing evenly matched. We're seeing this card more and more as time goes on. I think we're going to see this card be. Three copies per deck in most decks, and three copies per deck in most in every side deck. If not that way, um, evenly matched just deals with so much. Uh, just deals with so much, and it deals with so many boards. Um, some somebody some people in Zodiac were actually having a pull of a cards that could go to three. Uh, if, if if a card could go to three and then go to a zero at on the next ban list, everyone was actually talking about evenly matched a lot. So. This is actually a pretty a good contender for the ban list at some point. I'm not going to say that it's that going to happen, but it could very well be the case that evenly matched could very well be either banned or at one status. Um, given the fact that Red Reboot is currently at one, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, so, on to the extra deck. It's kind of a crazy extra deck, actually. We have three Trishula, three uh, True King of All Calamities, one Lage, two Dolka, one Evil Swarm, Exciton Knight, one number 60, Degaris uh, Degar of uh, the Timeless. I'm trying to, I'm having a really difficult time pronouncing that for whatever reason. Uh, one Apollosa, one uh, Nightmare Phoenix, one Hida, and one IP Mascarina. Now, Mascarina is kind of an interesting thing because you really didn't see this before in Dino decks. Um, 
I mean, I guess now people are going to be starting to are going to start toying with this a little bit more. But it is a very good card. You might as well just have like a response to your opponent's like random cards, and and it's just a very good card in general. Just being able to make Appalosa for almost free, it's pretty good. Um, Exciton Knight, pretty good card. Um, it's actually shaping up. We've actually seen a few deck lists with Exciton Knight actually being a main focal point and why people are actually winning games. Uh, Timeless is just going to be really good. Always going to be really strong. Again, skipping your next draw, next draw phase just for two cards uh, and then discarding one seems pretty good. Also, especially summoning a monster from your graveyard in defense position to skip your next main phase one, also pretty strong. Um, and uh, doubling an attack can sometimes make, an issue, make a difference. But, I mean, it's definitely going to be one of those cards. It's definitely also an OTK enabler So with, with that skipping your battle phase next turn because you ha are playing the ultimate conductor, Dianos, which just will do absolutely a, a certain amount of damage um, to your opponent. Uh, just try stopping your opponent when they are just going to attack into every single monster that you actually own. So it's actually really crazy. Um, <coughs> uh, Dolka. You might as well play Dolka. Dolka's a walking solemn judgment so and Lagia is also a walking solemn warning which is pretty good so i th i think it, it it works itself out i actually actually think they're the reverse but whatever it doesn't really matter they're both really good uh true king all is always very good it's it's just one of those cool cards if you're playing super poly with this card and you and you somehow make them manage to make some ring nines and stuff like that it's a definitely a really good strong card uh trishla three trishla this card is always going to be really strong I don't know why this card is at one, is at three copies per deck. I think it will actually go back, go back down to one or even be banned when when the new master roll comes out. Because being able to spam this out and just dismantling your opponent's hand on turn one just seems really degenerate. So um, yeah, so just a really solid extra deck. Um, you're playing the triple copies of these cards because you kind of want to see them. And if you banish them with Pot of Extravagance, it's a little sad, but I guess it works out. On to the side deck, we have three Nibiru, one Artifact Scythe, three Droll and Lockbird, three Dark Ruler No More, two Cosmic Cyclone, and three Artifact Sanctum. Now, this is actually kind of interesting, because uh, going second, Artifact Sanctum is actually not very good, but most of the time you're probably going to be going second with this deck anyway, uh, because it's definitely one of those car uh, decks that likes to go... Uh, it's definitely one of those decks that like to uh, OTK on your opponent's turn as well, as it just likes how handling your opponent's turn. Uh, turn one. Uh, Artifact Sanctum is just actually really good for when your opponent makes you go first. It's also really good against Spirals, because Spirals just kind of lose to this plus Droll, and... It's also really good against a lot of the other uh, other meta decks like uh, um, like uh, uh, Salamangrate and stuff like that. So it's really good. Uh, Dark Ruler No More. Again, we're slowly seeing this card bump up more and more as people are making these really absurd bra unbreakable boards. This is one of the best cards to do is that to, to break those boards. Um, so going first, if you're if you're forced to go first, you might as well play this card. Um, it's really good. Cosmic Cyclone is just an added protection against for against those degenerate cards. It also wins against Missing Mine uh, a bit more than I think Lightning Storm does. Uh, and Nibiru is just Nibiru, and Droll is, is absolutely insane against most decks right now. So anyway, guys, tell me what you guys think about this deck list in the comment section below. Also, the deck list will be in the description if you guys wanted to copy-paste this to your uh, YGO Pro or um, Duel Links. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been All Things Entertaining, signing out.